Hey everybody, so we are on day three of the business for blogging for solopreneurs. Now in this uh, video, I want, instead of me just verbally talking, I'm going to write a few things here um, on this PowerPoint uh, presentation just so you can, I can remember my thoughts um, as I'm talking to you in the uh, previous video, I kind of lost track of what I was saying. So if you see me looking down, it's because I am referring to my notes. So now, today we're going to talk about uh, planning your blogging strategy. Now, if you're just getting started, uh, don't make the mistake that I did. Um, I mentioned to you in the first two videos that when I got started with blogging in 2009, you know, I was just, you know, just writing. Um, didn't really have any structure to what I was doing, kind of just putting things out there. But if you really want to position yourself as an authority in the subject matter that you plan to blog about, then you want to definitely have a strategy for your blog. So let me share with you a few points that I want to talk about today. So the first one is, uh, who is your target audience? Um, so target audience um, who are you talking to uh, you know depending on um, the type of solopreneur that you are um, you want to be very clear on who you're speaking to so say for example uh, you're a divorce coach let me just take this away uh, you're a div divorce coach now um, who would be um, your ideal audience that you would be speaking to uh, would it be people that have just gotten over divorce um, is it people or, or persons who are um, you know dealing with life after divorce um, are there um, is the person or is people that you're speaking to individuals um, who are dealing with divorce divorce with children so you want to be very clear on who you're speaking to so using myself for example um, when I got started in 2009 and although I was blogging about uh, tax um, I had to be very careful with the financial services uh, part of it because I would have had to deal with any um, FINRA laws or what have you and um, don't want to get too technical and go into that but basically um, I was still with my broker dealer so I had to be very cautious of what I blogged about so once again even though I was blogging about tax and I was talking about some personal finance things um, I really wasn't clear on who I was speaking to because we all know that taxes is a very wide subject um, I could be talking to individuals who may have you know tax issues or it could be individuals who have small businesses um, or I can maybe be talking to uh, individuals who are business owners who have corporations you see what I mean like the subject matter is very very large so you want to be very clear on your target audience who is you who are you speaking to now another part of your target audience is to um, have an avatar uh, now what do I mean by an avatar uh, not referring to the movie but who um, would be your ideal customer or client that you would be speaking to that you are looking to connect with online now if you're not uh, too sure on who you would be speaking to um, if you do currently have a business uh, you can refer to some of the people that you currently serve now this was something that I didn't know in 2009 and I wish I had knew because that's what I would have did um, instead of me kind of looking around saying okay well, you know what am I going to blog about um, I would have looked at okay who am I currently serving and do I want to currently serve those individuals by connecting with them online so you want to be very clear on who that avatar is of course um, it, it drills down further from the target audience um, because you want to be very crystal clear on who your blog is is going to reach you definitely want to have this because you don't want to just go blogging because what happens is you're going to run into um, what I would have to say would be you know writer's block or coming up with content block um, you're going to be wondering okay well what what, what am I going to blog about you know and you don't want to be in that place 
Um, so if, if you stick to your target audience, who you know, who are you looking to connect with online, and then drill down further with your avatar, meaning who would be the ideal person who would connect with you online, uh, then you have a part of the planning strategy. Now let me go to the third point. Uh, my pr third point is, uh, once again, I talked about this in the second video, um, but consistency. So how often will you be blogging? This is uh, very important because remember, your goal is to position yourself as an expert um, in that field or you're looking to connect with people online. So if there are people who um, are interested with what you have to say, you don't want to... Um, have you know start a blog and then don't go back to it to three months or don't go back to it in a few weeks or don't go back to it into another year you want to be very certain how often you plan to do it now if you're just getting started there's no set time with how often you blog how often you want to blog you just want to stay consistent with some type of schedule you know maybe you want to just blog you know twice a week maybe you want to blog once a week but the main point is, is that you do want to stay consistent with a blogging uh, schedule. I mean, and, and if you can really be di diligent, uh, you may even want to plan it out where you know you're going to blog three times a week. So that means you know you're going to be putting out content Monday, Wednesday, and Fridays. Or uh, once again, uh, you may want to be blogging twice a week. So you know you may put out uh, content on Monday and Thursday or Tuesday and Thursday. So you want to be very clear on how often will you be blogging. Because remember, your whole goal here is to... Um, this is your platform and if you seriously you know want to build your platform then you need to have some consistent schedule because I talked about that in the first video that's the biggest mistake that I made not being consistent and not knowing uh, the repercussions of not being consistent I mean it's it plays a very large part in what you do so you want to definitely be consistent now my fourth point is what will be your blogging voice and and what I mean by that is I I didn't know this from the beginning but if I could share anything with you is what I think blogging voice is is that how will you connect with people online now of course you know um, I feel like if you are a solopreneur uh, a lot of your information and content should be problem solving content but then once again you don't want to have to face okay you know uh, the the reader may be reading your stuff and not and, and don't feel like okay well I'm I, I can't really connect with that person it's just words on a paper and and many people suffer with well, well why would somebody want to you know hear from me I mean there's tons of divorce coaches or there's tons of life coaches and I thought the same thing this tons of personal finance people and what happens is that when you don't know your blogging voice or how you plan to connect with people you go around looking at okay well how are they writing and should I write about this and what I've learned is is that I write in a style as if it's conversational you know as if, if you were sitting right in front of me and I was sharing some information that could help you I wanted to come off conversational so so to me and 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 then also what I want to add is that I add a little of my personality into it as well. Uh, so that will separate me from other people who may be talking about the same subject matter. Because at the end of the day, there are tons of people that do what it is that we do. But once again, you know, you are unique. And so if you stick to how what's the best way that you want to deliver it I mean if, if you're somebody who is um, you know comical um, and you know you tell jokes we'll, we'll share that you know you just want to your blogging voice is basically your personality how much of your personality do you want to put into it because see I didn't know this you know when I got started in 2009 since I had no strategy I was always looking around with, you know, what other people was doing and then saying, okay, well, this is what I think I should do. Wasn't really, you know, clear on my blogging voice. 
Now, another part that I would also say that goes with um, your blogging voice is how will you provide your content? Now, this is what a lot of people then, a lot of people don't like to get started with blogging because the first thing they think, oh, Lord, I got to write. But not really. You know, there are so many things that now that you can do with, you know, your content on a blog. Um, if you're someone who enjoys videos, um, myself, I've really gotten to videos. I enjoy doing them. I feel like, you know, people get to know me. They get to know my personality. They get to know who I am. So I enjoy video. So you can be the type of person who likes to put videos out there. I mean, think about it. If you're an image consultant, and, and once again, you're a solopreneur, but you're an Im image consultant. And so that is a very visual industry. So uh, your blog may consist of, you know, putting pictures, to, um, you know, having pictures on your blog and having videos or, or um, you know, you just want to, you're showcasing your work. So the one thing that I want to say is, you know, there's no, of course, you can mix it up. If you're a writer, you know, write. Um, if you, you know, if you like videos, put videos and you always want to do pictures. I think, you know, right now we live in an age of transparency. You know, people love visuals. I mean, look at, you know, uh, social media sites like Instagram. And of course we have YouTube and, and then we have Pinterest. I mean, people really want to, they, they want to see it. And a lot of people aren't readers. You know, with me, I don't mind writing. Um, so I will, you know, mix it up a bit. You know, I may write, I may do a video. And another thing that I leave, uh, left out, if you're a person who likes to speak, but don't really want to put your face on video, you can record what it is that you have to say and add a MP3 audio on your blog. So there, there are tons of ways on how you could put your content out there. So once again, but you just want to have a strategy. You don't want to just haphazardly just go out there and just do things because what's going to happen is you're either going to not lose focus or you're not going to be consistent because you really you don't know why you're doing it all you know is you, you know you may have heard to blog but you're not really clear on why you should blog so that sums up this uh today's uh lesson about <laughs> the business of blogging for solopreneurs day three and so once again you know i hope uh, this video has helped you um, with this part of the blogging series planning uh, your blogging strategy so uh, once again if you know if, you, if this video has been helpful what I want you to do is please leave me a comment share it with some other solopreneur that you may know who may need also um, to you know have some you know they, they may want to start a blog and you know they need some guidance so you want to share it with someone you know and also you know like it and leave me a comment let me know what you think okay talk to you in the next video bye bye